Welcome back. Next up, I am thrilled to be joined by Martha Ward. I mean, your CV is pretty impressive. She's a stylist, a red carpet stylist, the global fashion director of Condé Nast, traveler, uh, what else did I write down? Red carpet dresser. I mean, you dressed Gillian Anderson for six years. Amazing, amazing. Um, such a thrill to have you here in our new studio Thank today. You. Thank you for um, having me. It's wonderful to have you. You look gorgeous. You're Thank wearing you. one of the pieces you've designed with Bamford. I am, and I and, have. And I mean, we're here to talk about Summer Style. We're going to bring in their pieces. A, they're very, I'm looking at the wrong camera. A, they're very pretty. And B, they're really going to illustrate the points that you're going to talk us through yeah. today. Um, can we can we talk about your shoes for a quick? We can minute? talk about my shoes. Can you lift your feet up can. just in yes, case I was gonna say I don't the camera can't camera, but see I'll do them? That. Um, they're fabulous. What? They're extremely comfortable. Are they? It's the only reason I'm able to stand here for ten minutes and talk to you is because they are chunky heeled, very comfortable. They're Aqua Zero from last summer, oh, great. Um, but they are now the only heels that I can wear because I well, find it very difficult shame. to wear a pointy point heel unless it's a low heel. So I thought these were quite good, but to be honest, I normally wear this dress with my Birkenstocks. Um, or a sandal, but you know. she, she likes the Birkenstocks. We're, we're getting the we'll idea. We'll get on to those. Um, anyway, Martha doesn't believe in rules. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to call today's, not tips, we're going to call them principles. principles. We're going to call I them like principles. principles. Styling principles. Styling principles yeah. of summer dressing. Yeah. And as I said, you've got some bam for bits um, here and... Oh my God, some other things catching my eye on that table that I'm just going to have to be patient for. Um, you but are. can you talk to us about versatility? I'm fascinated yes. as to what this means when it comes to summer dressing. Yes, I know. It's a, it's a kind of annoying word that people use when they're talking about how to get dressed. But I do think I that versatility... Versatil I know. It's, I've got to be I know. But one of my key things when I designed this collection, I designed a capsule collection of seven pieces and I wanted them all to be versatile. Because the way I've always dressed and the way that people ask me about my dressing is that you could, as I say, just as easily wear this with a pair of Birkenstocks, um, as well as a heel and a jazzy earring, which we'll get on to. Yeah, yeah. I really want to be able to wear something in several ways. And also, mm -hmm. not just that, but this can also be worn, let me demonstrate, in a very pretty light bow, mm -hmm. which might be your look. It's very much my look, because I love a bow. But then actually some people want to reveal their chest. So then yeah. you can do that and you can unbutton as many buttons as you can. You could get all the way to the navel. Um, you could, you could wear the bikini but and see underneath. That and is actually a very we, different yeah, you know, and look, we were just talking feel. we were just talking on the sofa before this yeah. about what our sort of signature look was for some. Yes. And actually, yeah, to me it's a dress that you can put with a shoes yeah. like that. Or You've got to be able to wear things in different ways. So, so that is versatility. But. Okay, so this is a smock dress. Yep. Um, heels or flats. Yep. And yeah. Versatility. Easy pockets, by the way, very important. Oh, we love a pocket. I mean, you can't have a dress without pockets. It frankly. is the prettiest cotton, I have to Thank say. You. I'm a very um, lucky owner Stickler. of the, what do you call it, the waistcoat? Sort of oh, that's the tuxedo shirt. shirt. And which is down here, which we will talk about. But yes, okay. it's very it's, light. Oh, yeah. I put it in white. It's very, very light and great for summer. Yeah, and it's 100% organic cotton. Okay. Um, and all the detail on all these pieces is hand. The artisans there are extraordinary. They're made in India, but they are everything is hand smocked. Everything is hand embroidered. And detail for me, I know we're going to talk about it a bit later, but detail for me is vital. And actually, little details make all the difference. And in fact, if you look closely, this is heart smocking, which I've never seen before. You see the hearts? Oh, upside down hearts. Well, the some are upside down, some are upside down. They, in order oh, to go front yeah. way, they also have to go back this way, is true. Georgie. This is true. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, but lovely. Yeah. So, yes. So thank very you for commenting on the very soft cotton, because it is. It is very, very, very soft, very cool. Thank you. Um, can we talk about layering? Yes, layering. So, I'm a big one for layers, because I do get quite cold, and I also like cold swimming, and you then need to do be you able one to of those, immediately put something warm, I'm one of those. <laughs> I've always been one of those. It's not just a new kind of lockdown you know, thing, but yeah, I do like to dip into the cold water and then get out. And you always want something lovely if you're cold wearing. Oh, I do, I'm not good at, do you know what? Weirdly, I can't do the showers. Yeah. I can't do a cold bath or a cold shower, but I don't mind going into the minus four C, which is kind of a curious thing. But anyway, so something like that, for example, again with the ties, ribbons thing. Gorgeous with a, I quite like a chunky cardigan because I like the juxtaposition 
I've drunk it. Can't undo those buttons. I'm not. I mean, Kanye but is so key in summer and. You need it in England. Yeah, that's a really nice Countryside, one. Countryside, London, Where's wherever that one you are. From? I've got one very similar to that actually. That but it's a bit shorter. Is from. My absolute favourite discovery, it's called Navy Grey. Oh, yeah. And it's a wool mix. It's not cashmere, but does that not feel like cashmere? Yeah, it feels great. So, it's super lovely. soft, love cream. I know it gets quite dirty quite quickly, but actually, you just want to wrap yourself up. I've got a cream And you need to, I'm trying to think where England. it's from 1971 or something. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, okay. But anyway, and, and it's like that, and I live in live it in, in it. the summer over, yeah. I have over say, that. I have this in white. Oh, do you? Um, because this was in your... This so, was a year ago. It was a nighty. Yeah. So my my obsession with nighties becoming day dresses goes back to late childhood. So I've always bought vintage dresses, generally either French or Victorian, and they were either underskirts or they were bedwear. And then I wear these dresses. And so this. I was like, I want to do some nighties. You can also wear to the beach, down to breakfast, without looking like you're in your nighty. Yeah. So I've got friends who only sleep in that, whereas I only actually wear that on the Is beach. Is that right? I think the white so, is, the pink makes it a bit more day. It does. This is an incarnation of that, and this yeah. is new this year. Okay, well, but it's lovely, I have it. Thank you. And do you wear it as a nighty? I do, yeah. There you go. And Would I, you wear it in the day? To a I, will, I might now. On holiday? I might now, Good. with my you know, chunky cardigan. Kitty. With a cardi? Yeah, Casket. You're off. Sandals. Yeah, I'm away. Done, thank so, you. So, yeah, and that God, also God, thank God is, you came in. <laughs> and that's also navy grey. Very soft. They're just nice. Yeah, they are nice. I don't know. And I do love a because it gets nippy in the evening. That's a pretty colour. Thank you. Okay, so layering, layering, that is key. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and bows, the detail I love is bows. so pretty. It's, all, Ruffles, it, it's, it's got real antique vibes, hasn't it? Thank it's you. It's lovely. It has. Um, what, talk to us but, more about detail. I mean, you're a sort of girly dresser. Aren't I you? am a girly dresser. Which is and so I lovely. Because a lot of people, the look now, and I think I think hopefully people will be so delighted you're here because the look now from a lot of talent that we see is you know is the polar opposite. And I'm sorry, I'm still know, dressing it's like cream probably and, either a child yeah. or a granny and not much in between. Well, so it's this lovely, is very, very refreshing. But no, the, the detail thing for me, the way I've always shopped and the way I've always been drawn to things is, and particularly with my vintage clothes, is details that are quite hard to find now. So it could be. I mean, actually, to be fair, lots of people are now doing it, but. Fabulous collars, or very good pockets, or very good embroidery, or smocking, or just those sorts of details mm. that historically were in, you know, clothes made a very long time ago. Mm. I mean, like long, long clothes that we used to wear right? as children. So I picked up lots of those things and I placed them in this collection. And look, it's not for everybody, yeah. but actually, uh, some of my most unfeminine girlfriends have bought some of these things because yeah. they're like, oh, actually, I didn't realize I could wear that. Yeah. Look at the pink. So you can sort of get your head around without it being, again, if you've got your rule book. Yeah. So yeah. actually, yeah. I've so got details a, I've got a great, are a bit, a big um, thing. I've got a great CMYC quilted jacket. Oh, yes, I love which that. Which would be lovely. <gasps> over one really nice. Yeah. 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 You wish yeah. that on here. So um, sorry, talk to us about buying better. I mean, I always think that su summer dresses last quite well, don't they? Yeah. We don't wear them for that Not long. Enough, sadly. There's a, yeah. But it's, I always think it's nice to invest in a couple of nice pieces for the summer. And you, definitely. Sort, of, you sort of love getting them out when, when it's that time. And definitely, it's warming definitely. Up. And I think that we all now to be, need to be very conscious about how we're shopping and what we're buying and it's quality over quantity. Mm. And again, that goes back to the detail thing. But I do think that when, yeah, I think we need to be buying less mm. and loving them and keeping them as treasures. Mm. And and I looking think. after our clothes and making sure that we're not buying crazy directional trend pieces because you then don't want to wear that in a year's yeah. time. Or in fact, you don't want to wear them three months' time, let alone a year's yeah. time. So and I've these, always you know, shopped these are with of... quite longevity in mind, and I think longevity is really important when it comes to shopping. Yeah, I mean, I'll to that. I mean, these are sort of, they're sort of bash, marge, maybe more marge kind of prices, yeah. aren't they? So I think you've got to think to yourself... It's £295. Actually, pounds. instead of buying three tops or whatever, yeah, which you put, yeah. invest in something that's going to yeah. get rid of the That last. And well. again, I, you know, I do think that you can be wearing this in how many years' time without it yeah. being a very obvious trend. Agreed. So um, that's why I shop. We, we've touched on femininity mm. and celebrating being girly. I mean, I think it's great to be a woman. I'm, you know, I love occasionally... Nicky Michelle, yeah. but equally, I, I like, like prettiness. Details. I like details. Yeah. I do like a small. I mean, you can stick up a colour palette here. Can Very we, pastel -y. Can, It's sugar almonds. Can you talk to us about how you've made a sort of tuxedo top? Oh yes. Will you, will you Moving into my most masculine item on okay. my rail, 
which is the tuxedo shirt. Now, I'm obsessed with men's shirts. I've been buying um, dress shirts in vintage shops and at markers for years. And I wear them over bikinis, and I wear them tucked into trousers, and I wear them long over jeans, etc., etc. So I wanted some kind of incarnation of that, um, but obviously with a little bit of femininity in it. So obviously the embroidery, a tiny bit of it in there. The embroidery obviously gives it that. But I know girls, friends of mine, who wouldn't necessarily be drawn to that pretty, frothy, <gasps> oh. puff sleeve number, which I understand is a girly. And then I thought, let's bring something in that's but a little can... bit more masculine and you can wear that over jeans with your Birkenstocks yeah. Yeah. or you can wear actually I wear this also which is my new favorite way to wear it tucked in 